Today I'm going to show you how you can make use of Protolist to research and write articles fast. And it's October 2023, so the Nobel Prize has just been announced, so I'm going to put together a quick article on the Nobel Prize in Chemistry. So to get started, I'm going to add a table. And in this table, I'm going to add all the topics that I'm going to want to cover in my article. And the reason that I'm doing this is so that I can set up each of those topics as a tag around which I can then collect the information as I read through some different sources and upskill on the Nobel Prize in Chemistry. So I'm going to call this one article topics. And then I've got five different sections or topics that I want to include in the article. Now add these into the table, giving each one its own row. So these five topics I want to cover in my article. So I now need to go out and collect some sources and start to gather the information to be able to write an informed article. So I'm going to do this by adding a sources table. So I'm going to add a new table into the workspace, call it sources. So my first port of call is going to be the Nobel Prize website. So I'm going to grab the URL for the press release, and then I'm going to open up this page, choose web page, copy paste the URL, and then all of the content from that web page will be extracted into this page. And so all of the information is here in my workspace so I can start to collect it. And on Protolist, we make use of atoms. And atoms are your highlights, any kind of snippets of text that you come across that you want to be able to refine and view and use across your workspace. So you collect atoms by highlighting the text and then choosing capture atom. So as I'm looking through this source, I come across this section which talks about one of the Nobel laureates so I can capture the atom. And capturing as an atom lifts it out of the page so that I can use it elsewhere in my workspace. And since I've already got a bit of a structure and plan for my article, I can actually tie this piece of information to the relevant section or sections that I want to write. So I can do that by adding a tag. And I do this by clicking in this linking bar. And then as this is a workspace purely for this one, I can scroll through to this article topic section. And I've got the list of all the different sections of my article listed here. So I can tag this to laureates because it mentions the laureate. And then it's also talking about the experiments that this laureate had conducted. So I'm gonna put this into development section as well. So I've added some connections between this atom and my article topics. And if I jump back to the article topics table, you'll see that in this atoms column, that highlight, which I just captured and saved as an atom, is now displaying next to laureates and also development. And if I jump back into the sources table, you'll see that that atom I collected is also displaying because it's an atom that has been created from this page. So the atom exists only once, but it displays in multiple places, so I can use it wherever I want to in my work. So if I now continue some research and gather all the information that I want for all those different sections to write that article, what I'm going to do is add all of the sources that I'm referring to and using into this table. And so if you want to be collecting information from any PDFs, you can drag and drop them from your file explorer into this table and they will upload. And so I can open that PDF up. And just like before, as I'm reading through and come across relevant bits of information that I want to use in my article, I can highlight and capture atoms. And if you'd like to speed up the collection and categorization of your atoms from all your sources, you can make use of split screen and drag and drop. So if I open up the article topics in split screen, and to make use of split screen, you can control click on any page while you've got one open and it will open them in split screen. So as I come across information that I want to save as an atom and then also categorize into one or more of these categories for my article, I can just highlight and then drag and drop it into the corresponding atom column. And this has created an atom and then automatically added a tag between the atom and technology. If you have a smaller screen, we can set up your workspace to allow you to be able to drag and drop and automatically add tags using Atom filters. So if I close this page and we go back to the sources page, I'm gonna remove this sub pages property because we don't really need it. And then what I'm gonna do is add another property to the table and change it to type Atom. And then in the property options box, I'm going to add a filter. 
and I'm going to scroll through to the article topics section and I'm going to choose one of those. So I'll choose laureates. And what this will do is in this column, the atoms that have been tagged or linked to laureates will display here. And as we collected an atom which we tagged to laureates from this source, it will display here. And I'm going to add further properties and set them up as atoms and add a filter for each of the article topics that I've added into my other table. Boom. So I've got those atom filters set up and in this view I can see all of these atoms for each source separated out by the article topics. But what adding these atom filters also allows me to do is I can open up a source and because this source has been added into a table, that table has properties and we can view the properties by clicking on this I button in the top right. And it will display all of the columns of the table. So as you come across a bit of information that you want to save as an atom and categorize around one of the article topics, again, you can drag and drop. This time we can drag it into the corresponding box in this properties menu. So if I grab this text and then drag and drop it into technology, Again, the atom has been created and automatically tagged to technology. So that's another route for you to quickly collect and categorize your atoms. So I've collected several sources together and been through and collected atoms from each of them and added relevant links between those atoms and my article topics. So if I go back into the article topics table and the atoms column has been very well populated for the various article topics. So now we're gonna talk about writing with atoms. So I'm going to open up this technology page and we've been using these as tags so far, but every tag that you create is also a page. So it can be set up as its own page in its own right. So if I set this up as a text editor page, I can now type here and I can open up the atoms menu to see all of the tidbits of information that I have collected and saved as atoms from all the different sources that have been connected to technology. So I've got quite a few here. I can drag and drop them into my page and it will automatically generate a reference for me based on the source that I added into my sources table. And if I click this numbered citation, which is automatically generated, it will take me back to where I captured that atom from in the source. So if I wanted to check context or grab any further information, I can do that very easily. So dragging and dropping my atom into the page or embedding it in the page, I've added the text of that atom into my page. And I can do this for as many atoms as I like. And as I add atoms in that are from different sources, they will also be added into the references section. So I've got all of the information that I need to get started writing, no writer's block, no blank page to deal with, I can just write. So let me transform the information that I've collected here into a more flowing piece of text. So here's my eloquently written technology section of my article. And if I go back into the article topics page, I can make use of a different table view to see that section that I've just written in that page. So if I go to the table view options up here and select create a view and choose vertical, this, I guess, yeah, transposes the table so that you can see all the sections in order and the properties. And if I go to the properties menu at the top of this table, I can display a page preview. And what that will do is show me the text that I just prepared in the technology section. And if I then switch off the other properties, I can piece together my article. So if I go back to each of these different sections and use the atoms that I've collected to write those particular sections, it will look something like this. And so I've got an article that has been pulled together. So I'm going to update my article topics to the title that I want this article to have. So that article is now ready for me to download, do my final steps and send it off to get it live. So to download it, you go to this three dots menu when you've got your article topics and that vertical view open download it as a document. Final download looks something like this, with a collated references section at the bottom for the entire article. So you can now do your final editing, um, adding in of images, anything that you want to do to finalize that article. And so that's an overview of how you can use Protolist to both research and then prepare an article fast with your references taken care of.